Oh yeah. Hit it. Get over! What up, what up? We'll here with the baseball bat bros. And today, folks, a second attempt at a corked wood bat, but we are doing it right this time. Let's get it. All right, folks, we got two bats today. One is legit and one is corked. They are the same exact bat. We have two birch bats, a C243-3330. You'll see here, this is our control bat. The end cap looks legit. That is not a corked bat. This thing is real. And then we have the same exact bat here from American Batsmith that has been illegally corked, but we actually got it professionally done this time. If you guys recall, we did this once before and it was just me in my backyard, absolutely messing around. <laughs> All right, look at that. What else can you ask for? Two corks. Oh, <laughs> baby! Turned out to be one of our most popular videos ever, and I got absolutely flamed in the comments because apparently that video uh, went viral within the carpenter community. So today, we're giving this thing a second chance. We're gonna take this to an actual legit wood shop and get it professionally corked the right way. Let's head over there. All right, so we got our first bat on the lathe here. We got a 243 getting turned. So we're gonna have two identical billets here. We'll end up corking one of them. Here's the other one that's up next. All right, so this is actually a machine they use for uh, their wood composites, but today we're using it as a corking machine. We're gonna drill down eight inches into this thing and uh, take a bunch of weight off here. So let's go. Yes, sir. About three inches in. You can't even see the bottom. Oh, dude, that's halfway down the bat. All right, let's weigh these. All right, here's our standard bat. We're at 30 ounces, so that's a legit drop three, 29.9. And then the, the special bat. All right, it's not as bad as I thought. We're at 27.9, so that's two ounces off. So today we actually have sufficiently sized cork here. Measuring out how much cork we're gonna need here. Applying the adhesive so the cork stays in there. All right, now this is something I was lacking last time. We actually have a real wood plug here. That's pretty good. Sand it down, make it look nice. All right, that's looking good. So we have it uh, fully corked and sanded down. Uh, let's just give a quick comparison to my corked bat last year. That looks a lot better. All right, so here's the final weight on our labeled and waxed control bat, 29.92. So just about a true drop three, 30 ounces there. And then our second bat here, corked eight inches down. We have four corks in there. This is gonna be a drop for round down, seven tenths of an ounce lighter. So we'll let you know if it's noticeable here, but there is our corked bat. This is now essentially one full ounce lighter, but all the weight was taken kind of from the top of the barrel, right? So we're really gonna notice the swing weight. It's gonna balance this bat out a ton and we'll see if it's actually hotter today, folks. Our field here today is 310 down the lines, 360 to the gaps and 365 to center, home of the Ridgefield Raptors West Coast League summer ball team. And there's a lot of theories and talk about if corking a bat actually works or not but here's my theory folks so if you take away weight from a bat on a wood bat usually it's going to make it less dense however with corking a bat you're taking weight out of the middle of the bat but the surface wood still maintains its you know surface density so the wood is going to be just as hard on the outside of the bat but it's going to be uh, quite a bit lighter swinging so i think this will be hotter we'll do exit velo testing as well at the end let's get it all right we are starting with our control bat the american batsmith 3330 c243 compressed birch get the cracking on there kind of a short porch should be able to hit some bombs but i'm excited for that corks bat man Oh, let's smash. Sounds amazing. Sounds really good. Shout out my boy Stephen Kwan. Go Tribe. Just clinch the AL Central. What? Ooh, both hit pretty well. Oh my Smoke, God. dude. That's hot. It well. Oh, oh yeah. Ooh, did I get it? Yes, sir. 
Did I? Yeah. I did! Oh. Shout out Steven! End of the bat, that's gonna go though. Yeah. Oh, oh out out! Over the batter's eye. Come on! Oh. Oh. Gotta go. Yeah. All right. Uh, it's good, loud, good for giving barrel. Let's see if the cork bat actually works, man. Like you could theoretically just saw off the knob basically, and that would take off one ounce of the bat's weight. But because it's way down in the hands, you wouldn't even notice because the ounce is taken off. So it's basically from here to here, it's gonna feel like almost three ounces of swing weight difference. Like that's the main idea of why people do it. Let's see if it actually hits the ball harder. That's crazy loud, dude. You, that one, you could hear it. Yeah. Cork bat. They're lighter already. Yeah. Oh, that's a lean, yeah. Yeah. There's the start. Oh, oh yeah. Dude, that's oh, way God. gone. Dude. <laughs> that's, that's, oh, dude, that went street, I think. That's significant. I think that bounced on the street. Oh, boy. Scoreboard. Open, get it? No way. Oh, no, did that go over the it scoreboard? Went over. Yo. Whoa. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, it's louder. Yeah. I think it's legit louder. That hands have gone. Sheesh. Oh yeah. Oh my gosh. Dude, that's way out. Oh, oh, oh. Great. Jeez. Dude, I'm, I'm legit worried. We're going to hit a freaking car. I mean, that's legit. Did he just go backside? It, dude, it's better. It's legitimately, a, a, it's a cheat. It should remain illegal. Confirmed. Hands, that's still going to go, too. Way up it is. Dude. It's different. This feels sick. Would this have prolonged my career? <laughs> that is holding up. You would never know. Actually, it's very obvious. You wouldn't know. If you have like three coats of paint, you oh, could yeah. legit get away with it. Yeah. That's crazy, dude. I'm able to get to that high up and in pitch. Oh, dude. Is that gonna get? Oh, oh, and it's top spot. That's spawn. amazing, man. Oh my god. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Dude, please don't hit anything, bro. Oh no. Oh, we missed it. Thank God. Yep. Hit it. Get over. If you gave me those two bats and you told me they're the same bat, I would say those bats are a little different. All right, folks, exit velo time. We're on the hit tracks here in Tampa out at uh, PDX Eastside Training. Corked bat versus the control bat. I think we're gonna see a difference. I'm guessing, I think the max exit velo will be about 1.5 to two miles an hour better on old Corky right here. All right, so first bat here. I've already taken a bunch of hacks, uh, nice and warm today. That is our legit bat. Ninety-six point nine. Smashed. Ninety-four point two. This thing is freaking heavy. So pretty well. Ninety-five seven. Smash that ball. Ninety-seven seven. Perfect. Perfect. All right, 97.4, so capping out at 98 right there with the control bat. Now we got Corky. Well done. Ooh, can you hear that, dude? 96.3, pretty good swing. Dude, it's just 99.8. It's just genuinely lighter. 100.9. It works. It freaking works. Jammed pretty bad, 93. Goodness, 99. 
Whew. All right, one more with each bat. Regular bat. 96.5. Oh, this just, <laughs> it like turns it into a metal bat. It just, it balances out the swing weight so much. And like, people might disagree with this, but the barrel legitimately feels bouncier. Like it feels like there's some trampoline in the barrel. And I know that's, that's kind of debated, but at the very least, you have the same wood density on a lighter bat. That alone is gonna get you better results. Yep, for sure. All right, folks, so in conclusion, especially when you do it properly and do it the right way, corking a bat works. Again, I think just uh, decreasing the weight on the bat while maintaining that surface density is the main factor in why it helps. But there's a reason why this is not allowed anymore, folks. That, that definitely works. I do think it's a lot more common than people realize. Like in the wood composite space, for example, this is a pretty common concept. Like those Demarini wood composites, they're basically hollowed out with really dense surface wood. A bomb bat is basically everything but wood. And there's a little layer of wood on the outside. The Rawlings wood composites are maple bats that are hollowed out and filled with a bamboo core. So this is kind of common, this concept, but in professional baseball when you when you have to use uh, one solid piece of wood um, that will definitely alter it and that's a, that's a cheating method so there you have it folks corking a bat enhances its performance easier to swing it's hotter so thanks for hanging out guys if you like the video make sure to drop a like subscribe to the channel if you want to see our bat rankings we uh, review a lot of metal bats bb core u triple sa head over to baseballbatbros.com you can check out our merch over there as well we'll see you guys next time peace out